Good morning, folks. As you can see, I am in the woods on location. And I was to this location a couple of years ago. I got one video out of it. I decided I was in the area today, so I'd stop back in and uh, have another look around, see what I might be able to dig up. I got a pile of cobalt blue bottles out of here a couple of years ago when I was here, and maybe I'll be able to round up a few more today. Is I seem to be running low on them. They go pretty quick when you're selling them. People like the cobalt blues. All right, let's get into it. Well, nothing too exciting so far, folks. I got a moon's emerald oil come out, but it is cracked, so I won't be keeping that. But here's something that's kind of interesting. It's a little figurine. I thought the base was broke off it, but it isn't. That's the way it's made, so it must have had like a fabric base attached to the bottom, perhaps. It's a woman. The torso and head of a woman. She probably had a fabric dress attached to her, maybe a wooden base with a little stand on the bottom. I'm not really sure, I'm just taking a guess, but it isn't, uh, doesn't appear to be chipped or broke or anything, so that's a nice little piece. All right, let's keep going. Next item is this right here, folks, I think. I seen a big cobalt blue bottle uh, come out with it when it flipped over. This appears to be, well, I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was the back to a vehicle headlight there at first. Not quite sure now, but uh, yep, there it is. It's like a medium sized one. It's not face emboss though. It's a Phillips Mocha Mag bottle. But I'll take it. I'll take all the cobalt blue ones I can get. All right. Let's keep going. Wow. It is humid here this morning, folks. I have to take my jacket off. But I finally got an embossed cobalt blue come out. And it's a Milk and Meg tablets bottle. Check it out. Another one of those medium sized ones. beauty now we got three good ones and uh, well I'll get a picture of this and we'll keep on digging well there's no shortage of uh, Serto bottles and maple syrup bottles in here folks I don't know how many of them I pulled out there's two right there but uh, the rest are buried here's part of a A little ornament here. Thought we busted off it. That's too bad. Made in uh, Japan, it says. Huh. Milk glass come out. This buckle off a plastic belt, it appears, but I don't think it's anything we need to concern ourselves with, so I'll leave that. Well, I'm done in this patch right here for today, folks. I've been digging around here for about an hour and I'm not really getting a whole lot. Got four cobalt blue ones, that's it. So I'm gonna move on. I got a couple other spots I can check out since I'm up and around this way, so we'll see you on those. Good day folks. Heading out for a dig here today and heading down the trail. It's just down that way. I've been here plenty of times in the past, and if you're a regular viewer, you've seen plenty of finds from this, this location. It usually requires quite a bit of work, but there's some half-decent finds here. I'm going to get down in here. I'll shut you off here in a second because uh, the brush is about to get thick. But the, it's not too warm right here at the moment, and there's a bit of a breeze blowing, so... Maybe I'll dig around for an hour or so and maybe check out some other spots. Hard to say. Anyways, I'll get you off here for now and get you back up uh, once we find something. 
Anyways, I'm at the site here, folks. I'm just kind of surface hunting right here at the moment. Oh, check this out. I just spotted this. That's, uh, yeah, one of those nice light green colored uh, medicine bottles or whatever they were. It's got the uh, Pierce glass mark on the base. Yeah, I'll take that. I always keep those ones. There's another broken cork top I see there. But, uh, actually, that's not why I got you up. I got you up. Let's see. Check this one here out. See the base sticking out. It almost looks like it's manganese uh, glass, but I don't know for sure. Okay, it's just a slick screw top. Nothing exciting there. Um, yeah, here's a brush out of the way. There's a square one there too. Let's pull that out. Oh. Nice little square mid, cork top. Oh, maybe I'll keep that one too. Looks to be in good condition. Might get a buck for it. There's a heartbreaker there folks. I just spot it peeking out of the ground. Check it out. Broken ginger beer. Excelsior bottling works. Old English ginger beer. Still got the stopper on it though. Pretty good condition too. Might be worth hanging on to. Heartbreaker for sure. I see an amber bottle up in here. Let's check that out while we're here. No, oh, it's just a just a beer bottle. Okay, later. Well, next find, folks. Back over on the side of this back here. I just peeled this moss back. And right underneath it, check it out. Nice glass stopper. These are those ones. They're quite common. I'm not, still not sure what they belong to. It's like a vinegar crowit or what. Seems to be an awful lot of these around. This area, anyways. I find them quite often. Yep, I'll take it. Okay, I got a real tiny side embossed one down here in the hole. And my money is on it being uh, three in one oil. <laughs> that would be my guess. Let's pull it out. Yeah, nice little cork top. Three and one, yeah. Let's get, see if we can get focused on it. There we go. Mosquitoes are bad here today, too. Uh, possibly, possibly blown. I can't tell. Nice color to it, though. I'll keep it. I always keep these ones. Yeah, I got a bit of a hole going there, folks. I just pulled a find out. It's not real interesting, but... I see people find these before, and I've found them before myself, too. But the difference with this one is... It's got embossing on the face of it. First time I found one with embossing on it. Let's see if I get focused on it here. Nope. Doesn't look like it's going to focus. Kind of see something there. Anyways, it's a screw top, but I'm going to take it. And uh, it looks like the lettering on it is backwards. That's bizarre. Even upside down like that. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to take it and see what I can find out about it. Well, later. I'm got a shard of something here, folks. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. There's like an arrow up there, and there's the word from there. That's probably says formulate it. Well, that's sugar down here. So I don't know. Anybody have any idea what that might be? That might be another part of the shard there, too. Looks like it's got an SY on it. 
Anyways, if you know what that might be, uh, feel free to mention it in the comments. Got one more little find, folks, right here. Cobalt blue, hooks of atronol. Still got the uh, intact uh, squeezer on the top there. I don't know if it'll stay together or not though once it's cleaned up, but people seem to like these ones with the uh, dabbers and stuff on, still intact on them, little medicine bottles. Cool. Here's a different little uh, milk glass find, folks. It is embossed, but it doesn't say ponds on it. It says El Gaya, I think, or El Kaya. I don't know, but the lid's in pretty good condition, really. It's uh, kind of like an obscure find. I think it's the first time I've seen one with those markings on it. Now the base says uh, New York on it. So I want to take that and uh, look it up. See what info we can find on it. Might be a neat little find. Okay, folks, I'm having a heck of a time here. This is all, like, just small pieces of sheet metal and... It's really hard going. But anyways, I got a one find in here. It's nothing well, real awesome, but it's a screw top. It's an Omega oil. And those little vials. They do come in a cork top, so cork top would be preferable, but there's a little embossed screw top one. Got that cobalt blue jar there too, that's kind of nice. And uh, that just come out too. Kind of neat. Okay, so I might get out of here. This is just a lot of work for a little reward. So what's this here? Nineteen thirty-two screw top. No one bossing on it. Okay. Later. Welcome back folks. Thanks for joining me here for another recap. Now before we get into the bottles, I just wanted to show you this bottle here, which is a Leah and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And I picked this bottle up for three dollars. So I got out three dollars at an antique shop. It's got the original stopper in it and it is one of the bigger ones. Here's one of the smaller ones. As you can see, quite a bit larger. And the reason I'm showing you this is because, like I said, I paid three dollars for it. And I'm sure I have a lot of uh, beginner diggers and people that just do it for fun or as a pastime or a hobby. And some, some of them might be interested in selling some of their bottles. But just as comparison, one of these blue uh, milk of mag bottles from the 50s, that would fetch me three dollars as well. And uh, so uh, I just want to, you know, so don't get discouraged just because you're not finding old blown embossed bottles from the 1800s doesn't mean that you haven't got something valuable. Okay. Secondly, Spice Drum, Captain Morgan. Aye, aye. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Okay, so this video was at two different sites, and uh, as you can see, I got a, a variety of cobalt blue bottles. And the best one of the bunch is going to be this one here, because it is embossed. And it is a tablets bottle, a Milk and Mag tablets bottle, which you don't find too many of these generally. A little bit harder to come by. So I've got, what have I got here? i got about 11 cobalt blues. And uh, if I was to throw a few more in there, I could sell the whole lot of blue ones there for probably 30 bucks. And they'd go quite uh, quickly, I'm sure. Here's an Omega Oil. It's got the original lid on it. And uh, it's got a touch of green in it, I can see. So I'm guessing the original lid 
would have been green. Omega oil. I think the oil was green too. It says Omega oil, it's green. Trademark, the Omega Chemical Company, Jersey City. Down around the heel here, Jersey City. And like I mentioned in the digging portion of the video, they do come in a uh, cork top version as well. However, I've yet to find one. Just an old cork top Listerine bottle, likely from the 30s. These turn up quite frequently. And we got a milk glass jar here, an Elkaya, E-L-C-A-Y-A. -E see if I can get the light just right so you can see it. I don't, yeah, it's going to be tough to see that. Might be able to see it better on the lid. Elkaya. New York, that is uh, cold cream. One of the sites online is saying from the 1920s, it could be, or possibly early 1930s, I'm thinking. It's a nice jar, base embossed as well. This is the Elkaya Company, New York. And then we got this glass stopper with the uh, bale still attached to it. I kept that. It belongs to the Excelsior Bottling Company for the ginger beer. Sells your ginger beer. And how about this little glass torso? And it does say Japan on the back of her there. My guess this has had some sort of stand on it and possibly a fabric dress. That is my guess. Pretty cool. It's in good condition. We've got a few triangular shaped bottles. No idea what was in this one. It's got one of those weird lips on it there. On the base it says uh, Imperial, I think. Yeah, kind of different. This one here, I put that uh, Absorbing Junior lid on it. It doesn't belong on it, but it does fit it. And this one is a Virginia Dare Flavors, base boss there, so it's probably like a flavoring extract bottle. Kind of neat. It is four-sided, I guess, this one. And then this one here, I thought it said Elusa, but that's actually a D there. And it's Delusa, and it is a mirror image. And down here, two ounces. Somebody online suggested that it was a sample liquor bottle but I'm, I don't uh, I'm not too sure about that I think most of the sample liquor bottles are one ounce and this is two ounce so perhaps it's like a flavoring extract or something that would sort of fit as well so we're just about done here folks this is a nice one I found several of these and I always keep these ones just because of the color of them like a real light greenish color pierced glass the pea in the circle there much nicer than say like this one here I would say wouldn't you think at least this one's got a little bit of color to it yep four fluid ounces so that's it folks hope you enjoyed the uh, hunts and the digs and all the finds here Got a few more videos on deck lined up for the future, so be sure to tune in for those. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you all in the next one, folks. Over and out. Have a great day.